Hey everyone, it's Max here from Reptile Fanatics. So this is the brown tree frog or the whistling tree frog. Now this is out of Australia in the southern parts of Australia. So we're looking at Tasmania, we're looking at Melbourne, Victoria, and it's been now naturalized in New Zealand. So it's kept in the exotic uh, pet trade here in New Zealand as an additional amphibian to the golden and southern bell frog, as well as it's actually been naturalized in the wild in New Zealand. So you can see it in the wild if you're lucky enough to capture these guys they spend most of the time around streams around ponds around pools of water they are nocturnal in nature but as you can see this little guy was out and about hunting as you can see normally when they're hunting it's either the difference you'll see is in their eyeball look how big that black part of his eyeball is so usually that's what you'll get at night if you're able to capture them on film or on camera at night but also during the day he's doing a bit of hunting looks like he's following me around as he thinks he's getting fed so very 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 cool animal now, they're not a huge frog. They only get to about four to five centimeters in length as a full adult. And when they are just come out of their tadpole phase, they are absolutely tiny. We're talking just bigger than a fingernail, if not the same size as your fingernail. Now, I was lucky enough to capture this little guy exploring his uh, ter little terrarium. So I keep these guys in terrariums as well as plowdariums, as well as uh, tall enclosures. They are tree frogs, so they are, I guess, arboreal uh, in nature, but they do still enjoy spending time on the floor, hunting for food, as well as spending some time in the water. Not much time, they don't swim like other aquatic frogs, but they do like to sink and I guess soak up some moisture if they need it. But otherwise, they do spend a lot of their time in the night around streams and ponds, a lot of moisture, a lot of, a lot of uh, moisture in the air, a lot of moisture in the environment, that's what they prefer. Now, as you can see, this guy, he's probably about six months out of his tadpole phase so he's growing really really well very a very voracious eater but absolutely gorgeous colorations as you can see they go from a very light cream to a dark brown depending on the environment the time of day what uh where they are i guess are they in a very dark enclosure with a lot of driftwood a lot of rocks or in a very green enclosure with a lot of sunlight or a lot of light natural light as you can see this little guy here, I was able to catch him a fairly decent sized blowfly. Now, obviously, when they are babies, they are eating fruit flies and white worms and very, very small food because they are tiny. As they get bigger, they can start getting and taking on larger prey. So house flies and small blowflies are generally okay. This blowfly was probably the size of his head, but he took it like a champ, as you can see. Coming up, let's watch. All right, as you can see now he's struggling to get that blowfly down but he's doing a good job now he's going to focus the next uh minute or so just to make sure that he gets that down now hope you guys like what i'm doing like and subscribe otherwise stay tuned for the next one